This is Anna Stella at the O2 Ritz with the band that's louder than life and better than everything else. And you're watching <laughs> Anna Stella. Rocks with CJ and Richie from the Wild Hearts. <laughs> Two of you are missing. Mm -hmm. I understand Ginger and Danny not doing so well at the moment. So yeah. what's happened to them? I mean, they're still playing tonight. I mean, Danny, obviously. Danny but... had one too many pot noodles last night. Right. And um, Ginger has got um, the coronavirus. So. Okay. But apart from that, he's absolutely fine. Yeah, it's good. Right <laughs> thing, and top of I hope so, yeah. yeah. Didn't, we, didn't we have to cancel one of the types of plays here? One, yeah. Ginger had the norovirus. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. they've got the coronavirus this time. Maybe it's either that or um, um, some other Mexican beer virus. Yeah. Yeah, you have to put him into isolation for two weeks. Did we? No, you'll have to. Um, no, 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 no. showing no, symptoms. We, I don't think. I don't think anyone would have done me. I think, um, yeah, I mean, he had to be in quarantine for six months before he came back into the band or before he could do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, the first time I saw you was a long time ago. 1993 okay. at the forum in Ketchish Town, which I believe you're playing tomorrow. Um, yes, yeah, 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 it's my favourite forum as well. Yeah, and you know, to this day, when people ask me, what was your favourite gig ever? And I've been to thousands of people. That is the one that stands out for me. That was the first, yeah. Yeah, right, 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 uh, yeah. you've released yeah. Earth vs. Yeah. Four Hearts. Yeah. Uh, so we were talking before about what year you joined. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know when, I can't remember. Yeah, when that was me, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. Right. yeah. I basically, the Earth Versus came out, I didn't record Earth right. Versus, but then I came and took all of the glory because I did all, <laughs> of, basically, all the promotion that went on yeah. afterwards when it all blew up and that was me kind of playing from then on. That's similar to what happened with um, like um, PHEQ and Fishing for Lucky because I did most of the songs in there. Yeah. And then Jeff came in and, and took all the glory. glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can <laughs> say that. You bastards! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I consider that to be my first band interview ever back in 93 because I had backstage passes at that gig thanks yeah. to Stumpy from the Almighty. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I uh, went backstage and I remember seeing Floyd who I was very interested in. You know what's time. ironic? It's yeah. your first Stumpy in this band now. You've got Stumpy in this band? Yeah, band. Isn't it? <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Um, He's going to wish you was at the end of the year, isn't he? Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> so, so backstage, I went up to Floyd, who was the bassist in the Almighty, and I said to him, what, what's your, what are your influences? Thinking it was a great question to ask. Yeah. It's only about, obviously, 17 at the time, 18. He said to me, like, and I thought, I'm never going to ask anyone that question. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, we should ask something better. Right, so um, the first record I had from you was actually Mondo Kimbo Go uh, that somebody first, recorded yeah. for me on the tape. You don't get that anymore. Yeah, it was our first EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember that like it was yesterday. Tonight is a very special day. Not only are you gracing the stage of the Ritz in Manchester, but everyone here is going into this gig as part of the EU, You're coming out of the gig as not part of the EU. Oh, God, so, yeah. what are your thoughts on this? <sighs> I well, it's just, it's I, mean, just... I, I mean, we're musicians and we tour, and you would not find, you can't find, you can't push to find a touring musician who would have voted to leave. Yeah, because it's going to make it harder. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know yeah. what's going to change, and people are saying maybe things won't change that much. But also, um, I mean, when we, we tour around Europe, you notice there's a, things go up a notch, yeah. just the way the walls are maintained. And, Standard of living, so food and stuff, yeah. backstage, you know, everything seems to be made tidy and new and maintained. And, and it's like, um, I personally, I don't see why. I think it's just generally, it's just like a massive step backwards, isn't it? You know, I mean, obviously, there's all the intricate details of it, but at the end of the day, it's like building walls, isn't it? You well, know, from the respect of the like, land as well, it's fair. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. people who travel and, and their, their work is, you know, a bit further than their local town and it's out in the world. Yeah. You know, you tend to look at yourself as a, a citizen of planet Earth. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just in one corner of you know, yeah. this massive planet. Now, you've been together, was it nearly 30 years? Am I right? But we started, so, me and Ginger started yeah. the band in 1989. So yeah. So, 
Are there any questions? You must have been interviewed quite a few times. Are there any questions that you've never been asked that you think, when do I've never been asked that? <laughs> Anything that should have been asked that hasn't We've been, been interviewed by every type of person, mineral, mineral rock and animal, <laughs> you name it, and we've had everything. Like, okay. uh, Has anyone ever asked you what flavour crisps are your music? What flavour crisps are your music? I'll definitely salt vinegar. You know, I'll, I'll go with salt vinegar. First. Yeah. <laughs> Salty vinegar? Yeah. Is that you? Hedgehog. Hedgehog flavour? Yeah. That was a flavour, but it was just. Oh, it was just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hedgehog tasted. Well, I've never tried it. It's tasted of beef. It was beef. Are they, well, they are a bit beefy hedgehogs, aren't they? They can be. They're yeah, beef. more spiky than beefy. Oh, no, you, yeah, yeah, but if you yeah. manage to get past the spike. If you blanch them, yeah, you blanch them. Yeah. You can't get Blanch them in boiling water and for about two oh, minutes. Take so. them out and then the spikes just brush off. Oh, right. So we'll move on, I think, to your last album, which has been hugely successful, Renaissance Men, and then followed up very closely by your EP, Diagnosed as. That song in particular was probably the track of the year for me last year. It's a good it was superb. I think it's my favourite on the album. Well. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what do you what's your favourite songs off the album? Yeah. Diagnosis. Uh, I, um, I mean, that's, all, that's obviously the most yeah. commercial, but I mean, I really like um, My Side of the Bed, because mm. it's, it's a bit quirky, and yeah. I always like the quirky stuff. But yeah, I mean, um, Diagnosis has just been like, so many people just said, like, it's such a class song. Really? Yeah. You speak to Wild heart yeah. fans, and you know, they're just yeah, it's got a real classic. Wild we play it, I mean, we play it live now every night, yeah. And it's become like part of our, you know, our, our set. Mm. And it's like, um, we, we, we put a lot of music out there, but when songs just kind of tunnel their way into our set, mm. you know, it's, it's great, and that's one of those songs. It was really good as well because recording it, you always get a vibe about it, but you never really know how it's going to be when you play it live. And the very first time we played it live, it was just as though that we'd been playing it for 30 years and yeah. the crowd knew every word and sang it along <laughs> as loud as they do to the old classics, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it was just like, oh my God, that set's going to, that song's going to be in the set forever, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, you have to play it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> are you going to be releasing anything this year? Um, there's no, yeah, we've yeah, been writing, writing yeah, yeah. Writing and then plans yeah. for a new release. Next year. Early next year. Next year, will that be a full yeah. album? Yes. Yeah, it should be. Another yeah. album? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah we've got to drop that out. I think that there's, um, you know, we didn't put an album out in 10 years. I know. And then you had yeah, the album with an album EP. Yeah, yeah, so um, we need to keep up this momentum. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of, um, there's, I mean, there's a lot of posit positivity around the band. Yeah, definitely. You know, we don't keep on feeding that machine. Yeah. But it we feels great them. as well, you know. Yeah. There's always been, Throughout the band's career, there's been ups and downs, and the vibe's been weird. And at the moment, it's like when we're on stage together, it's just like we're mm. killing it, you know. Yeah. And it feels as though we're the best we've ever been, you know. So that's kind of, you know, and the, and the response from the crowd as well, you know, it's, it feels like because they've all been with us for so long, so many years, yeah. you know, it's kind of like it's almost as if there's more emotion now than there was back I think in the you're day. Right, actually, yeah, you know, obviously I saw you in '93, and I've seen you a few times in the last couple of years. I reviewed one of your shows uh, in Manchester, actually, for the Celtic. Right. And yeah, the audience yeah. is just with you. So it would be yeah, daft to, to not keep it going, really. Yeah. So. so <coughs> speaking of tours and festivals, you've got Bonfest in May. Download yes. June and HRH in November. Yeah, we've Anything got, else? We've got Wacken, right. Fest, um, some big fest in Spain. Yeah, there's some, <laughs> other, there's some other bits, yeah. some yeah. other bits coming in as well. Yeah, and then there will be, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think we we will be doing more UK shows as well. Right. Yeah, okay. there's the stuff yeah. always coming in. But I mean, it's it's um, it's testament to you know our, an album coming out being received well that we're getting offered. You know, Sort yeah, of yeah. And once you know, we're trying to, we're getting festivals in places like Germany and you know, France, and, and we're on that in festivals, mm -hmm. most of Europe, you know, so it's nice. That, <laughs> don't ask where that came from. I don't yeah. know, but it's warm in it though, considering how cold it is. It's warm in it. Right, I'm going to go to questions from Twitter because I have a lot, and I know we're not going to have time to ask all of them, so I'm just going to ask you a few, if that's okay. Yeah. First one, ah, now this one is for Ginger, but I think I can ask it to, to, to use you as well. Um, this is from Nick DC on Twitter. So, hi Nick. All right, Nick. And he wants to know, of all the bands you've played with or worked with, is there one that you've enjoyed 
went with so much that you'd like to again? Um, so maybe Bunty's gone. Uh, do you know what? We, we've literally just come back from Germany doing playing with backyard babies only because they're bigger out there. Yeah. We we went on first, and then this band called the Bones mm. went on, who we'd never heard of. They've not done anything in the UK, and they're absolutely brilliant, brilliant yeah. guys. And we yeah. hung out with them loads, and we did talk about maybe doing okay. something else with them. So I mean that. I mean yeah. I, like we, I mean we talk with tons of bands, and yeah. you know, some of them tours have been amazing. Some of them. So good, <laughs> but we haven't. I mean, we haven't really supported in a long time. Yes, yeah. the club tour we just did with Background Baby supporting them out in Germany. That was our first support tour since 2004. So you know, we kind of the headline a lot. Yeah. Long, you know, so, but you know, I we'd love to you know go on tour with Metallica and Green Day, and Foo Fighters, yeah. you know, okay. you know, small bands like that. Yes, yeah, everybody's yeah. <laughs> yeah, out um, question from Oucha on my hair. What? Oucha on my hair. Oucha? Ouch, your oh. my hair. Ouch. Yes. <laughs> what the hell's an oucha? No, I don't know what oucha is. Um, anyway, so they're based in America and they want to know how come you've never really played much in the States? Um, right. People talk about like touring the States like it's, you know, touring around the UK. Mm. You know, and the UK is a tiny little country. States is huge, unless you've got, you know, serious backing behind you, you can't really tour that country yeah. properly. Or you can, you know, get in a transit van and tour and sleep on people's floors and sleep on, you know, yeah. bum your way. But we're not bums anymore, you know, we're, we're, we're No, you're a connoisseur, you're one of us at I I like wine gums, but, um, you wine know, gums we could all jump in the back of a van and, and sleep on people's floors and tour around months and then you know come back home to divorces and you know our children are left us because they can't <laughs> bills or you, you know you do it properly yeah. and, and you know we've had deals out there and we've had money invested in us and when we were younger you know the band tour the base in dc out there we talked with the darkness for two months out there and you know it, it didn't hit so unless we get a huge deal again and someone wants to invest heavy in us we will not be touring around in the okay. states the answer. Um, question from Matt from Nevermind Matt. Um, hi Matt. <laughs> Do you prefer playing club shows or festivals? Club. Yeah, club, something, well, depending what time you go on at a festival, but if it's in the daylight, it's, it's always just a little bit weird when you can see everybody's faces yeah. right to the back of the field. When it's and, dark. And yeah, I mean, once, it, once, yeah, once it's gone dark and then it just feels like, a, but the better, I, do you know what? We played a gig recently, which was in a in Oslo, in a <laughs> Chinese restaurant. It's a Chinese restaurant in the daytime, and then during the night it's a gig, and they just push all the tables and chairs yeah. to the back wall and open it up. And it was only like we've never. I mean, we've never played. Have we played Norway before? Yeah, we have. Right. Yeah. Okay. But I, we haven't got a big following, so I mean, the, the capacity in this place is like obviously right. like fifty. Or something. I thought it was like twelve. <laughs> And it was like one of the best shows. Yeah, I mean, like my elbows were banging against the back wall <laughs> when we're playing. It was like everything was that there's a, and... You know, when you play in a club, mm -hmm. there's an element of control which is missing from festivals. Yeah. You don't get sound checked, so, yeah. you know, like, so you go on stage and you're at the mercy of the, you know the wind, the gods, and in a club you're playing. It's your environment, you know, and you're in you control. control. Yeah. Yes. And backstage is nicer, and it's just yeah. it's a lot more relaxed. Like, yeah. Festivals has a, it's a bit urgent. Mm. Yeah, I get that. I smell like shit as well. Um, no, I'm not talking about festivals. No, I'm talking about festivals. Those um, toilets. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> Question from Bob Scott. Hi, hi, Bob. What is your favourite song to play live? And is there any particular song that, say, you don't dig out very often, but you really like to, to play live and try and sort yeah, of slot me, in? Um, um, there's a song called Rooting for the Bad Guy okay. from our White Album. I would really love to do that live again. Right. Um, I quite like um, Dislocate at the moment, actually, yeah. set, just it's got a really good feel. Um, I Ever learned I quite time. like that. Oh, it? It's my favourite of all the ones. I quite like it when these two get the um, CJ and Ginger get the acoustics out and just do the. Shut! But <laughs> 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 you, you were the miraculous. <laughs> like, what, Danny on his leg? <laughs> 
We get socks, we start with socks and panties, don't we? Socks and pants. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't. Socks, socks, socks and pants. Yeah, we used to get, we used to get them every night, socks and pants. We're actually quite we could just throw them away. Our rider is um is getting less and less because like um we don't we don't drink that much anymore. So. Yeah. It's actually getting quite healthy now. And I mean like have a lot of fresh salads. fruits and uh, dried yeah. apricots. And we don't I mean we used to I used to get a bottle <laughs> of vodka yeah. every night. Ginger used to get a bottle of absinthe. Um and you know, we, we, I mean, I don't drink anymore, so you know, that's um, gin, ginger heart we drinks. And you know, we, have, we, we love, I mean, if we had a, I mean, I'd get a bottle of single malt every night and ginger beer, but it you know, probably lasts us the whole tour. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, Danny just has gigs. So, you have a ride right this evening? Yes, and what but do you it's, have there? The salads, there's some hummus, um, nice. some dairy, dunkers, some cheese strings, food, like yogurt, yogurt, <laughs> one big <laughs> bosh. Yeah. None of that old fashioned yogurt that we pull back and leave. No, no, that's We got no, um, a um, what else? A nice herbal um, tea. Herbal tea. Yeah. 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 No kettle, no metal. Yeah. No kettle, no metal. Yeah. Yeah. No metal. Yeah. Yeah. Like Actually, um, like we, 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 we have um, uh, champagne on stage. Yeah. So no moe, no show away. Yes, we do. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, no <laughs> Prosecco. No we never have champagne. You, I don't drink a Prosecco. We have champagne every night. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, guys, have a great evening. Enjoy your champagne and yeah. your <laughs> moe and your, uh, your wine arms, your fruits. <laughs> your, yes, your, your yeah. modern yogurts, whatever you yeah. want. Have a great evening. Pretty nice chatting with you. I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Till next time. This is rock and roll. Is it? It's packed.